Hello world, it is Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. And a beautiful sunny day this morning. Had some rain last night in Defiance, um, but I think today's supposed to be a little cooler. Only 80 or so, which is still pretty warm for September, but um, warmer I think later in the week. And it isn't until next week that we get some cooler weather coming in. The devotion for today is Not Amen by Vince Amlin. Vince bases the devotion upon 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, New Revised Standard Version. Pray without ceasing. And Vince writes, The other day my daughter and I witnessed a car accident. Okay, she witnessed it. I was looking at my phone. We were waiting outside a pizza place for our order and I heard from the back seat, Daddy, what happened? I looked up and saw a van sticking halfway out of a bush 20 yards from her car. People were already rushing over to help. The driver was able to roll down the window and seemed to be communicating. The person's partner came out from the pizza kitchen. Paramedics were on the scene in minutes. My wife returned with our dinner. Everything seemed basically resolved, but not for my daughter. She was getting more and more upset. Why did that person crash? Would they be okay? Why hadn't she gotten to call 991? We could say a prayer, I suggested. And for the first time, she took me up on it. I prayed and hoped this might set a new precedent. But when I finished, there were loud protests from the back seat. No, not amen, she insisted. What? Why? First we pray, then they go in the ambulance, then the doctors take care of them, then they go home. Then amen. And I tried to explain how amen just means something like, may it be so. How it doesn't mean everything is fixed. It just means we're leaving it with God. She seemed unconvinced. And this morning I'm wondering if I've been re ending all my prayers prematurely. If this isn't what it means to pray without ceasing, to hold the line, to mark the transaction as pending, to refuse to close the case until everyone can say amen. In Vince's prayer, oh God, we are waiting. Well, a couple of things this devotion made me think about um, is, yeah, the real um, meaning of amen is like what Vince said, may it be so. Um, they, uh, spill the beans, the Scottish resource I use has some slightly different words, but essentially the same thing. And the other thing it made me think of is Brother Lawrence, who was, um, I don't remember what century, he was a monk a um, long time ago. And um, he talked about praying with your life, praying with your, your body, with everything you do, so that your whole life is a prayer that, um, that never ends. And I kind of liked that, um, the, the visualness of that, of letting your life, your whole life be a prayer that every moment, every breath you take, every action you take is a prayer. And um, what could be better than that for showing loving God with your entire being and loving your neighbor as yourself? So amen is not an end, it's just a continuation. So may your life be a prayer. And I hope to talk to you again tomorrow.